few weeks later. All right, jumped a few weeks again. Is this Act Three now? It looks like a distinctively new. It is Act Three. Vazgar region, formerly occupied UIR territory. Welcome I don't think I've ever been. Home to the Union of Independent Republic secret space program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still have it. Paddock! Vazgar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying. No, excuse me. Liberating this glorious land. Okay. Remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. <laughs> Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. Ha! <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. Paddock. <laughs> How many acts are there? Four, I think. So, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the COG publicly revealed. Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR has satellites during the Pendulum Wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, someone our military tried to launch. It kinda triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functional? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly, or stupid. <laughs> oh, man. <Or> weak. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and uh, come and see me before you go. Oh, that's cool. Paddock and Baird back together again from the Judgment Days. So, what was the part where no one's sure this will work? <laughs> I don't care. We'll make it work. New we location to. found abandoned Maybe it's airport. Time you told me exactly what you saw on that machine. It's not what I saw. It's it's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not going to stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on, let's just go see Baird. It's pretty cool with the sand coming through. So yeah, Paddock was part of the team in Gears 2. The UIR, that's the, the opposite of the COG. Talked about them before. Paddock was a member of the UIR. The COG launched the Hammer of Dawn Strikes on the UIR, and that's how they won the pendulum wars which was the human on human wars before the locust existed never been to uir territory in a gears game from what i can remember this is kind of cool so yeah there's four acts in gears four, five from what i've read and understood the first and fourth act normally there's five acts in gears and they're all linear but uh the first and fourth are kind of the classic linear gears experience and then the second act, which we've just finished, and then obviously this one as well, a kind of more open-worldy exploration type stuff that we've just done in Act 2. I'm digging it. Good to see Paddock is still knocking around. He was he was there at the end of Gears 3. He was who uh, Bird and Cole went to get at the end of Gears 3 for reinforcements that we saw in the sort of the aftermath section of Gears Judgment. Any collectibles around here?
Oh yeah, I need to do the massive upgrade to Jack. Once we get on the skiff and start um, like moving out, I'll do I'll do the massive Jack upgrade. See, I think Act Three is going to be more of the same of what we've done in Act Two. Just obviously, we're looking for Hammer of Dawn satellites. Our allies intend to submit to peace talks with the COG. We, the Garazni, do not. The briefcase you've been given contains the means to decisively end the war with the COG. You'll deliver it to Major Paddock. You are authorised to liquidate anyone who impedes you. Wow, so Paddock was involved back then as well. Look at the way this sat. Wow, that's cool. So we had snow and now, we, now we've got sand. Sounds like a lot has happened since Gears 2. Maybe I should catch up sometime. Yeah, a lot has happened since Gears 2. If you want to catch up, you can see all the Gears games on the second channel. Got the, the Gears of War playlist on the second channel. Has all the Gears games back to back. I'm not going to read all of that right now. I really like all the collectibles. It gives some... Uh, some sort of um, idea of like things that have gone on in the past flesh out the story a little bit more which was always Gears' weak point really a lot of nostalgia in Gears 5 too Paddock coming back a lot of the old characters this game is so much better done than Gears 4 was ah good you're here grab this module off the table Jack's about due for an upgrade. Sweet. Bruffy's random bits, yes, that's the second channel. If you go to bruffy.com forward slash let's plays, you'll be able to see all of the let's plays I've done in handy form, all in playlists, and Gears is part of that. So that's an easy way to get to it. Yeah, Jack temporarily takes control of an enemy. Have all the time in the world for this. Okay. Hi, Jack. So I'm only missing one of these. I've got 101 components. All right. Thanks, bird. You know, that module isn't going to install itself. Just saying. Oh, hi, Jack. <laughs> hi, Jack. <laughs> Done. Oh, that's good. What's it do? Follow me. So a couple of days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it Hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. What the hell? Show him what you got, Jack. Now well, that could be useful. You figured out how to override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. So which swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. All right, that could be handy. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Baird. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie in the convoy? It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. Had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of uh, all that, have you seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. Try my best not to. 
I like Bird. Bird was always one of the best this characters. Paddock. How do you know him? We were in a squad together, believe it or not. Also got court martialed together. We kind of bonded. So you trust him? Well, he threatens to never speak to me again every time I see him. But <laughs> beyond that, yeah, I trust him with my life. All right, let's go. I like those little. Did you hear that accent? It's Garazi. Yeah, and? And they kind of had a rep back in the day. Torture, war crimes. Remember where I come from, the cog had the same rep. They were both as bad as each other, let's be honest. Come have a look, children. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then everything changed. They got smarter. I wonder why. Suddenly they were wearing armor. And they started making deeds. Take one, if you want. So you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes, which is why I agreed to let Bear come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply's been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority, but say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing, could be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question. Are your children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. New weapons, new armor. They're changing. I used this weapon, the claw, in uh, a company. You forgot about it. I used it in uh, multiplayer. It was an absolute beast. <laughs> See, launch a GL. It's pretty handy, but I might take the marker actually. Ah, I see you have good taste in weapons. <laughs> that is reassuring. Why not? We're in uh, we're in UIR land. Let's uh, let's let's use a UIR weapon. The Nomad's Creed. You will stop shitting near the punks. You will not knock. <laughs> Hawk ball. Hmm. Nah, I guess I'll keep what I've got. And I didn't think I could go in there, but I had to check. training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert pointers. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and it wasn't me. <laughs> I think I can handle it. Okay. Never seen weird formations like this before. It's sand. Zapped and superheated by a lightning flurry. Wow. Oh, yeah? How does that work? High shock pressure. It changes the sand's atomic structure. You, my friend, missed your calling. You should be teaching science. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe someday I'll do that. All right. Out into the desert we go. 
Baird? Are we expecting anyone? No, we are not. Well, this can't be good. Ah, oh, these two buddy buddies now, eh? I don't believe this. I hope you're not here to stop us. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar, what you learned, and... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I, I don't blame you. So what does Jin think about you being here? Jin... doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out, Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two alone? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Baird. Come on, then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man. If you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? <sighs> All right, so there's four again. Okay, man. Before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like, like we didn't even know you. Look, I haven't exactly been myself, Del. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. For what it's worth, I tried to convince him to embrace Dark JD. But something about you two brings out the best in him. All right, four of us. Ah! All right, I know why we're here. But where are we going? An old rocket hangar, to the east. And just a heads up, the Nomads could use some help too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say, let's do it, and make the last few months disappear. Del, come on. No, it's okay. Let him get it out. No, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being unreasonable, and I want to stay mad. <laughs> then stay mad. Not here to prove anything. Just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency's rubbing off on me. This is definitely different to, uh... Delta, Paddock just let me in on something. It's kind of relevant. When the UIR peace commander thought he was going to lose to the rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machines. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. Let's see. So that's the water tower. I guess we'd better go there first. Um, rocket hangar. It's wide open space once again. That we can look around. All right. Let's let's help them with their water problem first. Pretty beautiful areas. It's interesting. All the gears games have been five acts. And obviously Gears 5 is four acts with the two middle ones being sort of open world type stuff. And when I've been uploading them onto um, the second channel, I've just done one video for every act. Like, I'm going to continue with that. But acts two and three, I feel hey, like they're going to be the so long. We're going to check it out. 
I imagine the Act 2 video is going to be like four or five hours or something. <laughs> We were doing Act 2 for a long time. What did Paddock say they're doing here? Trying to get their water supply back online. So the swarm are going to be smarter now since they have their queen. They've got armor, they've got more smart with weapons, new weapons. Two extra people now, but you should consider mid roll lads. <laughs> Jack Fetch! Find your heads! We got snipers on high! Shit! They're really dug in up here! <laughs> Not seeing any of the nomads. Not alive anyway. We'll worry about them after! There's a lot of them in here. Kind of glad I got this marks up. Some of this long range shooting is kind of helpful. Oh, I still got me. So close. Drag out. Now let's use this. I remember now it gets it gets more accurate the more you shoot it. Nice work. Any of the nomads make it out of this? Where was that hammer? Uh, Maxa, so there it is. Oh yeah, upgrade. Yeah, thank you. I need. To, I forgot. Let's upgrade Jack. I've got 111 components. Uh, so what's that? These are individual costs, right? I think. Core systems. What do core systems help with? I can fetch heavy weapons. Headshot kills recharge Jack's abilities faster. Executions recharge Jack's ability. I don't know. I never do executions. Kills recharge Jack's abilities slightly faster. Okay. We've got the zapper. For longer. Increase its range. Zapper damage increases the longer it hits an enemy. Zapper can hit multiple enemies at once. Stealth remain cloaked while boosting. Recloaks faster after performing actions. Takes less damage while cloaked. Remain cloaked while carrying a weapon. Probably pretty handy. Uh, increases Jack's maximum health. Can revive himself twice as fast. Jack can be sent to revive down squad mates. I mean, he kind of does that already. Let's see, then we've got assault and support. So I've got the full beans on these four. So let's look at the stim. Stim recharges 25% faster. That's probably a good thing to have. Increase stim duration by two seconds. Yep. 
Stim can revive downed members of your squad. Ooh, that could be handy. And then I've got Brawler from Act 2. Melee damage is tripled while stimmed. Which was the other good one? Invisibility. Cloaked squad mates move 15% faster. Kills while cloaked extend cloak duration. Cloak recharges 15% faster. Yeah, I didn't mean I had... And now I've got the full beans on stim. I just meant I had like the final upgrade is what I meant. Uh, pulse. Never use pulse. If I find myself using that more than maybe. I like flash. Let's boost this up. Uh, shock trap. I never use shock. I, I mostly use flash and stim. Let's upgrade the cloak as well, though, because I, I was using that a little bit. Actually, no, let's improve some of the passives. Uh, I wouldn't mind fetching heavy weapons. Uh, I'll go for that one as well, but I don't... I'll leave those two for now. Uh... Might as well increase his maximum health. Remain cloaked while boot reactive stealth. Let's go for that. Uh, let's go for the, the two early ones. Fire the zapper for longer and a higher range would be good. Let's do everything on the zapper. I've got 21 left. Um, what can I upgrade on hijack? 30% longer. Stims the enemy while controlled. Recharges faster after use. I guess we'll do a bit oh, longer. What a scumbag! I don't really use shock trap. I use stim. I'm gonna have flash. Do they have flash and stim fully upgraded? Yes. I think. Let's let's do that. And then I'll keep seven for later. Okay, now I'll do that. There's so many uh, components you can find though. But I've got Stim fully upgraded, Flash fully upgraded, Zappers fully upgraded. I've got a lot of other stuff too. I think I think I've uh, significantly improved Jack there. <laughs> Sweet. It's been a long time coming for Jack to get an improvement. So thank you, Sam, for the four months. Someone's in there. Ooh. I was relying too much on the long shot in Act 2. I should not bother. I should I should keep it for a little bit. Alright, enough's enough. Let's get her out of there. Uh, I don't even know where she is. He's jacked up now, yeah, that's it. I imagine it's going to be a fairly substantial upgrade, considering I haven't upgraded him, upgraded him at all. 
throughout the entire game, and now I've gone from zero to. I mean, she sounds a little crazy, but zero to you know a hundred odd. All right, come on, out. There's no one in here. Oh. Oh, cute trick. Guess that's how you survived. Namira, koget koi, okran posi dortini opsa fascist. I'm not really hearing gratitude here. All right, Delta, grab anything useful, then we head out. Okay, so I've. Location complete, one out of three. Okay, so I've done... Okay. Done part one of the side mission for the water tower. Paddock, we just saved one of your engineers at the water tower. She was... a handful. Oh, her. So she survived. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, we still need help. Check the pump station and the old docks. We're drilling for groundwater there. All right. If we get time, we'll look into it. Delta out. I'll cover navigation. Okay, so we got harbor docks. I mean, they're both on the way, so... We might as well. Let's do the docks first. Meeting that engineer was sort of like experiencing the entire tragedy of Vascar in five minutes. Tell me about it. Although she did remind me of my mum. Why you turned out the way you did suddenly makes so much more sense. I'm so confused. I want to... Oh, it's all on there. Okay, I see how the radar works now. At the top. I get it. I'm curious what's up here. This is definitely unlike all of the other Gears games I've played. There's a lot more exploring in this one than I'm I'm just I'm just going off the beaten path. Hopefully it's fun to watch at least. A bit of exploration. There's definitely there's so much Cosmonaut training facility. Okay, we're coming back there. I feel like that's another mine thing where I'm going to need to do that at some point. Is it a... Yeah, it's a main objective. <laughs> I just... I Just like the mine already. Um, exactly the same idea. I, I've gone there a little bit early. <sighs> Nothing around here. Okay. Oh, this is so British, can you talk like <laughs> not really? He is very British. Whee. See what's going on with these trucks. I don't get it. Where the hell is everyone? 
Where indeed? Okay, so this is new. What? Oh, that's not good. Ninu Neki, opponents the Karnier. It's no stuck nun in Durma Botoki. Okay, I I'm gonna assume they're in trouble here. Come on, Delta, let's head inside. Shit. Guys, we got pods. I don't like this. This is gonna go great, I'm sure. Jack, rip that door. You know this is a trap, right? Oh yeah, I'm well aware it's a trap. And here they come, hunters! Okay, let's see what you got. This must be how they hit the nomad. Pour them in and then take them out. Did he just go invisible? How can they go invisible now? That's not fair. They really are smarter with a queen. One less. It takes so long to load this weapon. Definite notable difference in the swarm. Claw weapon is pretty good um, in multiplayer. I'm not liking it as much. Let's go for the top. Does anyone else need a nap? Later. Let's just get inside and see what we can find. Any more talk ball? No. Okay. Looks like the Nomad's comm center. Maybe we want it back for him. Maybe they won't mind if we borrow some supplies. Wouldn't mind finding a Botox pistol somewhere. Surprised that 9 is the most you can have in a Togbow shot. It used to be 12, I'm pretty sure. What's this? Baird, just found something. Looks like old UIR radio tech. You want it? No, you want it. 
Find two more and you'll be able to boost Jack's hijack ability. Ooh. I would have done it myself, but, you know, we were a little short on time. Oh, all right. We'll keep an eye out. We're done here. We should get back on track. Yeah. Delta, back to the skiff. So that's the idea. Just like the, uh, <gasps> the side missions in Act 2 in the snow. Paddock, we're leaving a city ruin. Your people got hit pretty hard here. Ah, one of my scavenger crews, and two mm -hmm. others are still missing. If we come across them, we'll try to help. I would very much appreciate that. Um, it's all about getting more upgrades for Jack, I guess. Okay, that's where I want it to be. It's kind of crazy. This is, um... Okay, now that we're all together, here's a question I've always wanted to ask. When you two went AWOL, did you miss me? Oh, uh, yeah, not really. Absolutely not. Kate, did either of these two talk about the handsome bloke they trained with? Uh, well, they did mention this one arrogant, brutal asshole. Hey, did you know that guy too? No, but he sounds like a top bloke, honestly. <laughs> it's okay. I know you guys miss me. Okay, let's go see what kind of condition Paddock's drill is in. Dyer is my guess, based on what we've seen so far. Great. This place is crawling with swarm. They don't see us yet. We can pick a few up quietly. That's the lock. <laughs> that was close. so long to load up the, um, the stealth. It's not even half done. Ah, screw it. It's fun! Right, get this oh, I missed him! Let's clear him out, Delta! Gotcha. Wow! Yeah, come in. Oh. oh my god, this is Zion. Okay, now I see. Okay, that didn't go so well. I need some help. Okay, big dude's gone. I got headshotted for once. Bloody hell. That was pretty graphic. Okay, let's go see what kind of condition Paddock's drill is in. Dyer is my guess, based on what we've seen so far. Great. This place is crawling with swarm. They don't see us yet. We can pick a few up quietly. Screw quietly. It's bandit! Right, let's get this started! 
Let's clear them out, Delta. <laughs> I'll tell you what, after this, Tata's gonna owe us a favor. I need help here. Oh my god. Out of my watch, there's your way. Considering this is a side mission, Knock it off. it's pretty heavy. Help you out, he says. <sighs> Is this just a bloody side mission as well? Okay, let's go see what kind of condition Paddock's drill is in. Dyer is my guess, based on what we've seen so far. Great. This place is crawling with swarm. They don't see us yet. We can pick a few up quietly. Alright, let's see if we can actually take a stealthy approach, shall we? No, I didn't want to go down. Oh, this stupid game. They spotted us. All right, let's get this started. Let's clear them out, Delta. Docks. Your drill looks okay. I don't think it's damaged. 
I'd appreciate if you verified that. Fire it up. But if it starts to shake and smoke, maybe run. Okay. That was a lot more professional all of a sudden. <laughs> I guess I just actually decided to... Alright, Jack. It's, um, it's all you. Think about what I was doing, maybe. <laughs> Good news, Paddock. Turning it should probably be like that more often. Then congratulations. You've almost succeeded in getting our water supply back online. All that's left is to check in on our pump station. If we find the time, yeah, we'll do that. Delta out. Uh, right. We might as well do the pump station, let's be honest. It's all on the way to the hangar, so... Let's go. it's time we got back to the skiff. Yeah. Alright, Delta. Let's head out. I'm guessing it's up there. Oh shit. Just realized. Forgot my sunscreen. Your sunscreen? I burn easily. Ever fight with a sunburn? It's not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. I'll radio back to command. Maybe they could arrange for an airdrop or something. See, you kid. But that would actually be very helpful. <laughs> Pump station. It's fun having side missions and stuff. Gears has always been so linear. Hey, that must be the pump station. Are we stopping? <clears throat> Alright, let's have a look inside. This thing's pretty quiet. Could be a good sign. A very bad one. Okay, there's our way in. I'm sure there's gonna be no one around. Ah! Yaya Dortmir, Yaya Kakapsa! Popa! Hey, you okay back there? Can we help? Ah! Ah! Cog! Estonu Sanui! And Faust and Ceiling Pong! Robot! Obukis! Ko Fan Fabin! Robot! Obukis! Wait, robot! I, I think he needs Jack's help. Ota, Ota, Robot of Wookie, Robot of Wookie. What? This? Nahipu! Nahipu! Heads up! Incoming juvies! Let's keep him back! Good old defense mission. Jack is pretty helpful with that improved zapper. So many of them. All right, I don't see any more. Okay, Akta, Akta, Bofant Babin, Robado Buki. Jack, help the man out. Yeah, yeah, what's up? 
Hey, look, look alive, people. Robot. Yeah, we didn't get that in Act 2, did we? Everyone was dead. It was just us actually oh. interacting with yeah, people. Good. You sound happy. Well, that should do it. Paddock's got his water supply back online. Well, look who it is. I reckon she wants you to take that. Huh. Wow. This lady here wired up a surge protector to her cloaking device. That's clever. Looks like we're about to upgrade Jack. Slayer, remain cloaked for the full duration even while shooting. This upgrade has been automatically equipped. Ooh. So, when I'm cloaked, I can do whatever I want and remain cloaked. That's going to be very helpful. Kills while cloaked extend cloaked duration. That's going to be powerful with that. Let's do that. Nice. Oh, this should work great for us. Okay. Uh, thanks. That lady is an absolute nut. I think we're done here. What do you say? Back to the skiff? That's what you get, some ultimate upgrades if you do these side missions. Cover navigation. Uh, all right. Let's go to our first main objective. Let's park this thing and find an old rocket. Paddock said there's plenty of swarm out here, so stay sharp. Shit, they're here. So, how are we handling this? Oh my god, there's so many. Out too well, did it? Oh, they were turrets. Okay, that makes sense. Frozen on the turret, but I can't shoot him. <laughs> that do nothing. Guys, I'm in trouble. Get up high enough. 
Come on, I've got to get, to get his head. One less. Get inside. All right. Plenty of marks are around. Watch the bedding. I'm going to need to use this at some point. Oh, there was these all. Oh, shit. More of a cover from the main building. Boppers, keep him back. Spin those turrets around. Well, that's one way to do it, I suppose. Success. That's it. They're done. Good night. Paddock, the swarm tried to stop us, but we're heading into the hangar now. Good. Your rocket should be inside. Let me know when you need translations, because you will. I speak five languages. Okay, got it. It's been quite a while in this game that I've used since I've used the Lancer. So let's let's go back to it for a little bit. Why not? Ooh. Pays to explore. Let's get inside. Help me. I like they've got the armor without the, the sleeves. That's what they were wearing in Gears 3. So, where do we go? Place look huge. It was the divisive back then. It's gotta have a mission control. Or command center. Or whatever the UIR called it. Eh, mission control is accurate enough. And keep going. It's close. It's a big gun. Don't mind me, I'm just exploring. See, it was worthwhile. Reckon there's even more bodies beneath all this sand. Way to keep it light, Files. Another door. Help me. This must be the place. Let's get some light in here. Wow. Well, the lights work at least. I'd say we found the rocket thing. Maybe I need new glasses, but I'm not seeing any rocket. Paddock, Barry. The hangar's empty. Well, shit. If the rocket was moved, there's got to be a record of it. You know what? Hack into an access port. Let's see if Jack can bypass that virus. Let's see. That was pretty impressive. Some of the, um... Some of the areas and locations and things that we've been fighting in 
during this game have been pretty impressive. Hey Jack, let's pull some records. Okay, Jack's giving me a window into the mainframe. Who? That's some nasty malware. Adaptive. Semi-sentient. Don't worry, Jack's got this. R right, buddy? Ha! Huh. No virus can stop Jack. Huh, data's coming in. Pat, I think we can read this? Yes, but much of it is encrypted. Trescu, okay. I recognize that name. Is close. Check the assembly chamber on the other side of the hangar. Nose cone? What about the rocket? The hammer satellites are part of the nose cone. Go deal with that, and we'll keep digging on the rocket's location. We'll right. come. Delta out. Nose cone. All right, let's go find those satellites. That was pretty cool that we found that collectible earlier that was talking about the Hammer of Dawn um, My parents wouldn't even speak case and stuff. And then we found it here next to him, dead. I wonder if Paddock actually received that or not. And whether it was his decision not to use it or he it just never made it to him. Can't remember enough about Paddock's character. He wasn't a fan okay. of the cog, I remember that. Now. Well, let's bring that uh, platformy thing this way. It's called a gantry. Faz is so dumb. Jack, bring it over. Pretty cool. Good environment. Finally, something I can try. Come on, you lot, all aboard. Wait. Oi, back here. This thing's our way across. Yeah, but I want to see what's over here. Do we come here later? Probably. Come on then, Foz. What are you waiting for? Okay, Foz. Take us across. With pleasure. One thing, children. I mentioned how the UIR attacked that facility and tried to launch our Hammer of Dawn satellites. Yeah. I led that attack. You did? Why? To destroy the cog. Ah, there yeah, we go. Well, Question answered. These days, I'm somewhat less interested in destroying the cog. Good to know, Paddock. I guess it just never made it to him then. Those cords. Okay, let's go. Way to the satellites. Give me a hand. Well, no satellites here. Let's keep looking. Paddock, I'm curious. How long did your siege against this place last? Three days. We attacked the moment Premier Deshinko sat down with your chairman to discuss the armistice. Ooh. You hit us with the hammer first. We thought it was only fair to hit back. Okay. Paddock did seem pretty resentful towards the cog in the gear's judgment. Understandably, I guess. Oh, 
That's not what I want. Damn it, I just wasted all my frags. I got him! Drop them all. Now, let's get a move on. Paddock, Baird. Ran into some swarm, but we're back on track. Ooh. Also, Paddock, the cog that hammered you 50 years ago isn't us. We're not them. Well, if you launch those satellites, you'll be doomed to make the same mistakes. What is this knob you not about? You're a knob, Faz. Help me with this before Paddock starts talking again. I heard that. Blank. Okay, flank is over. Didn't the hammer of dawn f up and kill a bunch of innocents earlier in the game? Yes, because we didn't have the targeting satellites, and that's what we're trying to get now—the targeting satellites, so that we can use it properly. to um, rev up the chainsaw. <laughs> What happened to Marcus's son? He's right here. He joined us. Turned into a bit of a dick, it seems. Maybe he's realizing the error of his ways. He survived. He was in a coma, I think they said. There, by the door. More up. I wonder if hey. 
How can I change? Oh, I see that one. Right. <laughs> there it is. Hi, Jack. He looks Again. a bit different. Yeah, he's bald and beard. He's different to how he was in Gears 4. Man, look at this. It must have been quite a fight. It was. Paddock, you fought to launch the hammer yourself, but now you're saying it's a mistake. What gives? You launch, you buy us some time, but eventually they'll win. You must know this. No, I don't. It's a good question to be fair, if they're meant, as Nows was saying, they're, they've been bred to withstand everything and never die and hibernate and come back, like, what are we meant to do? To actually kill them permanently? We tried it once. Adam Fe Phoenix thought he had the answer. Doors welded shut. Then that's the door you want. I'm guessing we're gonna have to defend. There's a turret, we got a mocha. We can see what's coming. Here we go. Alright, let's get set up. They're coming. Someone get on that turret! <laughs> Zappa is so good for dealing with these tubes. Good job, Jack. Oh my god, I just hijacked it. <laughs> I could have done that earlier on, they would have just killed all the swarm. And now I can kill it at my own pace. Oh my god, hijack. Hijack is a great idea. I was actually planning to try and freeze. 
I, I forgot that I still had the hijack on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there goes his head. Okay, that was certainly a handful. And another news. Jack got the door open. Good job. Just realized if my parents hadn't have left Vascar, my dad might have been here fighting off Paddock's men. Uh, you, Vascari, what did your father do? He was a surgeon. Huh, then he was lucky. We shot every doctor we captured. Uh, can we turn him off? Paddock is not one to be messed around with. He was hardcore. Should be through here. Grab the I didn't other side. realize hijack would work on that big thing. Gotcha. You found the nose cone. Oh man, but it's missing satellites. Wait. I see the others. Either side of the chamber. Let's get on that gantry. We'll load them up one at a time. Good idea. I'll drive. I don't think I'm going to get any, to talk, any more talk about bullet, bullets, so let's take this uh, long shot. Jack's going to move this thing, right? Bring the gantry in closer, Jack. Just like the last one. Well, there's the nose cone. Maybe I should be thinking about upgrading uh, the hijack function. Come on, let's do this. That was very handy. Which platform should we hit first? Make the call. Choices, choices. All right, off we go then. Uh, having a problem, pal? No, just figuring it out. So our friend Paddock's got some uh, interesting thoughts on the Hammer of Dawn. <laughs> Who's he to judge? He tried to launch it himself. Okay, let's get that thing loaded onto the nose cone. <laughs> okay, fine. <gasps> I'll do what you tell me to do, game. I'm sorry. Let's try this. There, satellites on the move. Stay clear of that rail, people. Of course. Well, that's bollocks. It's stuck. Maybe it just needs a nudge. Yeah. Okay, okay. Maybe it needs more of a shove. Oh, oh no. Why does it say no, defeat the pouncers? Oh, there's two of them. Okay. Helpful. <laughs> Jack, I need to utilize Jack more. I'm realizing. I didn't think they would be able to help on them. And our satellite sitting pretty on the nose cone. One down. I didn't think he'd be able to help with such, uh, like some of the bigger uh, enemies. But Jack is Jack is a. A machine right now, he can do it all. Alright. 
So we got one more to put on there. Okay, let's go. Brace yourselves. This might be a little rough. Hey, what if Paddock's right about launching these satellites? Oh shit! Swarm on the other platform! We're sitting ducks down here! Boss, get us higher! On it! <laughs> oh shit! Oh Is yeah, you're really on it, Boss. I'm aware of that! Got it! Got it! Just keep us moving! Doing my best! Shit! Zion! Where? And we got a bastion too! Oh great. We gotta get off this thing! Well there's a higher platform to the left. Hang on. Get us there now! Oh, there right, he goes. Down. Boss, you missed it. I know, mate. It's like parallel park in a sailboat. Target's down. Get off. I'll draw their fire from the gantry. Oh. Boss, they're clear. Take us away. Here we go. Okay, Dell, let's clear this platform. You got it. There's two. There's three. That wasn't four. Another frag! I <laughs> made him drop the frack. Okay, down we go. Del, I'm going down. Cover me. <laughs> JD, that all of them? Uh, Headshots are still incredibly yeah. satisfying on this game. The gantry so we can connect the satellite. Always have been. Done. Oh no! Oh no! Fox! Fox! They're on us! Take them out!
was hoping for a weapon or something. Satellite. We're have a complete nose call. Watch your head. Here comes satellite number two. I need some help, ASAP. Oh my God, Dell. <laughs> yeah, coming. Oh, he literally just said, "Watch your head." Secure. Back onto the gantry. Let's get him to the hangar. Uh, not to burst any bubbles, but we're not getting anywhere till we open that big round door. Uh, well, there's a platform up there. Head over to it. You read my mind. All aboard! That hasn't looked so okay, good. Let's get up there. Okay, so what a paddock's yeah, right. Launching these satellites is a bad idea. He's right that the hammer's dangerous. Believe me, get that now. Not launching these satellites is dangerous. Believe me, a world on fire is better than the world they want. We get this thing back to the hangar. We worry about the rest later. Hmm. Where have I had all this before? Let's try this. Guys, our ride's leaving. God damn it. Opening that door must have triggered some automated sequence. So we babysit it on foot then. Ugh. And I was just getting behind the driver. Come on, up these stairs. We can't lose that nose cone. There, let's keep up with it. Watch it below us. Just did it all on his own. He flashed them, froze them, and then took them out when he was frozen. Jack's OP. It's taking me more than half the game, but I'm finally learning to utilize Jack. Nice. 
They're done. Come on. Let's catch up to the satellites. I could have flanked them. Did not think about doing that. Way through over here. There it is. Let's keep up. Paddock, Baird. We're escorting the satellites back to the hangar now. Good. We're still decrypting these old files, but we're making progress. Head out to your skiff. We'll find your rocket soon enough. All right. We're on our way. Is this where I came in? I guess it is. Huh. <laughs> We get out or did I go over here and this is actually the way that you get out I'm guessing it is if he's standing here no Little confused. Come on, once we're back in the hangar, we can work our way outside. He never happened. Don't Need put, help. don't popcorn me. <sighs> okay, satellites are safe and sound. If we want to get out of here, we should cross to the other side. We. Oh shit! Guys, below us! <laughs> Target's down! Okay, they're down. Let's keep it moving, Delta. Swap out the Lancer again for a hump first. Spot. Looks like we're all clear. Don't okay. say things like so that. You know, whether we get the hammer working or not, I'm glad we came. Yeah, but if we don't get the hammer working, whether you came or not won't matter. Just find a way back up. There's a lot of explosive devices, it looks like. Over there! Incoming! Yeah, that's one of those big dudes. Yeah, there it is. What the hell is that? It's a carrier! And it's not alone! Back up, back up! Spread out! Nobody drops us in! Shut up! Oh, 
Just keep firing! What the? <laughs> what? Okay. I'll wait till it gets over here then. And I'll explode some of those bomb things that's above it. Does every carrier burst apart like that? Yeah, pretty much. Our way out's above us. Let's get up there. <sighs> well. That's not done. Jack, get the doors open. Work. I'll take some more boom shot. Why not? Left this way. Everyone get on. Gotta wait for Jack. Who knew putting a rocket together would be so difficult? Hmm. Let's see. Scientists. Rocket scientists. And anyone who's used the expression, it's not rocket science. <laughs> what do you think? We just push a button mark to launch? Oh, I see. Yeah. Pick on the handsome one. Cut him down to size. So, we're back across. And for the record, <laughs> I'm the handsome one, okay? We're almost out of here. Any leads on that rocket? Yes. It's at a turntable in the east, beyond the Dune Sea. There's a rail bridge blocking the way. But don't worry. My people will raise it for you. So, out in the desert, find train tracks. Then you'll know you're on the right path. Copy that. All right, let's head for the skiff. You know, all this time I thought I was the answer. Oh, dear God. There was a hatch. Yeah, I um, I, I got it. I sent Jack to get it. for you. No, I'm on lunch break. Of course I'm still here. Okay, what exactly stops you from launching the hammer? The usual problems faced by 200 dedicated patriots trying to defeat 3,000 cowards. <laughs> you know, you could just have agreed to the armistice. 
and spared a lot of lives. A Groznian proverb for you. A just war is better than an unjust peace. So, just exactly how many Groznian proverbs justify war? Eh, most of them. I like that right, Paddock's here and out. we're learning more about Paddock. He was always a good character in Judgment. Children, one more thing. The bridge controls weren't network, so the base commander's virus didn't affect them. But the bridge itself hasn't been lifted in decades. What do you say? You worried about your people not being able to raise it? No, they'll handle it. But that bridge, it's old and rusty and... There. Just when you're beneath it, don't linger. Copy that. All right, you heard him. Let's head for the bridge. So, this Pat, how does Baird even know him? Apparently, Paddock served in the COG for a while. That guy was COG. When? Uh, unclear. They didn't seem that eager to talk about it either. Back in the gate, days of Gears Judgment. I remember. I'll take that vacation. Come on, let's get past the bridge and over to that turntable. Alright, let's see. So we got... Train bridge. We got this cosmonaut training facility though. Like, I don't know. Should I go for that now? The training center that was preparing the UIR cosmonauts for their first attempt at exploring the stars until the civil war laid waste to the area. Should I do that before going to the train bridge? I think I'm going to. I might not be meant to do it right now, but... Okay, so it's all straight ahead. It's actually quite difficult to make sure I'm going the right way still. <laughs> See what's up here? Can I go through here? This was the pump station. Done that. Okay, I'll just keep going straight. I need to find more ruins as well for more jack upgrades. Boz, as of Vasgari, are you feeling any, I don't know, connection to this place? Nah. To be honest, I'm glad my parents came to their senses and left. <laughs> I mean, growing up around here, in the desert, shaking sand wash from your shoes. Nah, I'm good, mate. You know, that's always. <laughs> it's the desert, right? Most of this used to be seashore. Long before I was born, mate. Is this right? No, it's not. Back. Jump. Whee! All right, I know where I am now. Let's go investigate. I'm probably doing this in the wrong order again like I did for Act 2, but hey-ho. I'm intrigued. Is there anything over there? Maybe.
Let's go check this place out. I feel like this is going to be another mine situation from Act 2. Paddock, Baird. We found something. Looks like a, I don't know, a space station or something. Oh, what a scumbag! Good to know. We're standing by. Thank you, Roadrunner, for the nine months. How the hell did all this UIR space program stuff not get out? I mean, how did the cog keep it secret? Simple, when the cog also runs the newspapers. And historians have to apply for a permit to write books. Secrets? Secrets are easy to keep. Yeah. I think we can all agree on that one. That's it. Came all this way just for one component. Anything inside this place or not? Yes, the Hammer of Dawn started in beacons as it happens. I was going to have my people get them for you, but since you're there, you may as well head inside. Wilco. I'm sorry, targeting beacons? For the Hammer of Dawn? UIR tech. Super advanced in some areas, old and busted in others. <laughs> so I'm guessing. If, uh, if I'd left this to last, there would have been some sort of problem with, um, he, he, he was going to send people to come and get them for us, but they got, they ran into a problem and we have to go and get them ourselves. I'm guessing this is, this is like the mine, the last thing that we have to have to do. But we'll get it done first. Why not? Let's get some targeting beacons. All right, let's see what we got in here. Help me. What story did I miss between the sulfur mine and here? Oh, a lot. <laughs> okay, Paddock, we're here. Listen. During our attack, I was certain the beacons were somewhere inside that place. But that computer virus locked us out of every building before I could get to them. And until your bot deals with that, you won't get to them either. You hear that, buddy? Things in your tiny metal hands. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby security office. Huh. Funny how we've seen the cog versions of these posters and things. I think I'm good with the weapons I've got. There's our security terminal. Just need a way for Jack to access it. You can't just go through? Okay. Knocking through there. Um, okay. Like I would have assumed I could send him through there or something, but is it not the same room? Oh, there we go. Jack. See if that vent will get you to the security office. Paddock, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The centrifuge building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. Go on, Jack, little fella. Jack's a legend.
Facility's activating, Delta. See, I knew Jack could do it. No sweat. Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. Then you now have full access to the entire facility. That's gotta be the set you need. And storm or no storm, we're heading over there. That's not a good sign. Red Condor out there. Yo, Bear, you lose a Condor by any chance? Several, in fact, while running weapons to a certain, you know, desert-dwelling friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. Uh, okay. Solid copy. I'm guessing we're also gonna find some DBs. <laughs> There's been some really good, um... Really good reveals of... You know, enemies, locations, things like that during this game. Been pretty cool. Jack, can you get this open? That's all we can do in here. Can't believe Baird's secretly a gun runner. You're having trouble believing Baird did something covert? <laughs> really? Yeah, well, when you put it that way. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Let's make it quick. Haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't so say that. Around. Between Paddock's Civil War and the weather, if it crawled in anywhere. There'll be DBs, I'm telling you. Bird's been given quite a lot of um, time in this game. Well, you called it. Look who's here. You got a scion. And it's got a bastard. Run. Put these assholes down. Like in comparison to Marcus and Cole, Bed's been in it quite a lot. Quite happy about it though. Bed was always my favourite character back in the original trilogy days. Die, you stupid robot with the shield. Stay down! Really? We can't deal with that Scion! Oh, he's too... Don't be too far away. I wanted Jack to try and freeze him, but... chance. Got the target. You're dead. <laughs> I only took two boom shots, not even frozen I suppose. Wasn't the best uh, best way to say it. the swarm of being killed, JD. Oh, 
Huh. Oh, hard shell spacesuits? How advanced was the UIR space program? Okay, into the storm. All right, so all the exits are blocked. Now what? Okay. Nothing to do with that. I mean, it feels like it's got something to do with this. <laughs> ah. Jack, activate that crane. I could have seen that from here as well, I suppose. Oh, of course. Well, that didn't work. Then we try another one. Jack, right. <laughs> Good game design, allowing you to be able to see the thing that you need from down here. Got it. Well, let's hope this one holds. Of course, it broke because you shot it. <laughs> Fair. All right, Jack. Let's do it again. Oh, great. <laughs> Told you there'd be DBs. Probably put this down. I don't think it's helping. No. I is confuse. Doors on the other side, but <laughs> we are confused. Yeah, that's not a, it's not a thing. Ah. <laughs> oh. Get in there, Jack. <laughs> Need to be more vigilant. Yeah, this will work. That's the ticket. <laughs> I 
All that to get around, if that one had just worked, we would have been here. Come on, we can get out this way. So, what's in here? We saw it from the other side. Sweet. These aren't all gonna well, at activate out there. DBs weren't corrupted. Come on, this way. Oh, storm is strong. Look out! Centrifuge building's dead ahead. Hang on, we got a straggler. They're on us! Not for long! Oh, they're coming out of the sun. Well, that's new. And very annoying. They're down! Let's get inside! Let me get this open. Cool tattoo. Okay, we're in. So where the hell are those beacons? Let's check the security cameras. Well, look who it is. Oh shit, Laura. Guys, look. Beacons are tucked away in the capsule. Yeah. How do we get him out? We could bring the arm around. There's a platform over there. Worth a shot. Jack, see what you can do. Can't believe that knackered thing still works. I mean, some of these are going to get wiped out by this. But it's not slowing down. Oi, fuck! What did you do? This thing's older than you are, man. Jack's not a miracle worker. What about an emergency break? Well, there's some controls at the base. Okay, great. <laughs> Classic he is. You try to do something, it never works. You gotta fix your own mistake. Than uh, shooting my way out. What the hell? Why isn't this stopping? Brakes might be toast. I don't know. Oh, great. We'll have to discuss that later. Swarm! <laughs> yeah, them getting wrecked by, uh, by the centrifuge isn't too bad. Put down the elite grenadier! 
It actually works really well when you use commands for your team to aim at a specific person. You freeze them and then get the team to kill them. Flash with the freezing is, I think it's my favourite of all Jack's abilities. Poor show, mate! I forgot that I had a boom shot and I didn't realize there was boom shot and oh great. Oh shit! Take it out! Oh it's getting quicker. Oh not. Well, that worked out, didn't it? Maybe. We need Jack to verify the beacons are okay. Come on. That worked. That could have been worse. <laughs> didn't have to destroy, didn't have to kill that snatcher. Jack, tell me the beacons are fine. Come on, Jack. Give me good news. <laughs> Baird. Beacons are secure. They're also a hell of a lot bigger than I was expecting. I don't think we have room for them all on the skiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Ephira. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll carry it to the skiff. <clears throat> well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta? Let's get back to the skiff. This is just like the uh, the mine mission. You know, if Paddock's sending folks out here, we should we have to get something and take it out and put it on the skiff. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm not going to be much use in a firefight at the moment. Stay close to me, mate. Jack, covered. need some light in here. Huh. Exploration. Get the other 
other side. Okay, let's go. JD, you good? Yeah, just lead the way. Well, storms no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. Yay. Okay, Delta. Our way out's on the other side. Okay. Ah. Watch it. Your shit. Now we're talking. Bow talk is so good. Dead. Wait. We got swarm people. Get behind those sand glass things. They're called Bogorite. Yeah, tomato, tomato. Got you. I think that was helpful to take out the big dudes in the. The annoying shield guy before coming down and doing this. I got him. And the turret. Ah, you can knock those over. Okay. Just like the icicles. Fire it all! I don't even know where the other guy is. Incoming frag. Oh gosh. Set up in a big open area. Tosser. 
really made a big push there. <laughs> Turrets are so good. One less. Stand down! And the door's open! Let's get our asses inside! <laughs> Always one way to do it. Sometimes the boom shot is good for just putting a lot of damage on a big boss or something, and sometimes it's good for just dealing with uh, Skiff's not much farther. dealing yeah, with a lot of enemies in a close range JD easily. Not damaged. That's the important part. Kind of relying on you to keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Fate of the world, no pressure. Hear that? Storm's died down. Yeah, now that we're through it. Come on. Let's check on the skiff. Foss, Del. When do you get the other side? All right, Delta. Let's get that beacon to the skiff. Sweet. JD, you gonna make it? not too bad. We need to decide whether we're bringing that beacon straight back to bed or not. I agree with Foz. Oh, man. Those words in that order? It kind of hurt. Yeah, I know. And it happens more than you think. <laughs> so there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the Cog border? Vascari technology, my friend. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities and said, oh, hello, we'll take that, piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. <laughs> okay, big fella, let's get you aboard. All right. I'll take navigation. So let's see objectives. Bring the beacon to bed, and see. I might as well take it back to bed. The benefit of doing this early is that I'm closer to the airport than I would have been. Yeah. Okay. Let's go take it back to bed. Straight away, before we go to the um, so I've had it to train. Up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I mean, they seem pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving for anyone. Baird trusts Paddock. We trust Baird. It's all by the transit of property. We trust Paddock's nomads. The tr trends of transitive war, book spas. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. And honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads till they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. Works for me. Back to the airport we go. Then we'll probably call it a day for this stream and revisit in the next stream. And go check out. Like, I've noticed we need to check out next. Different, smarter, more cunning. Yeah, rocking spiffy new weapons and armor too. Paddock warned us about that. Said it started happening like a few days ago. When we were at Mount Kadar. Wait, you don't think it's connected to? To when they got their queen back? Yeah, I know it is. And it's only gonna get worse if we don't get the hammer back online. Yeah, I don't think the Hammer of Dawn is the uh, answer to all of this. These kids don't quite know the deal.
And so we meet again. Let's get that thing to Baird. Lead the way. Full on Franks. Let's put this motor on the skiff. Didn't think about doing that. We'll see if it saves for the next stream. Stay there. If I remember to use it. One of these days I'm going to remember to actually use a weapon that I've left on the skiff. Paddock, where's Baird? In back. He was explaining to me the new modification he made for your little bot friend. It was boring, so I came out here. <laughs> we should probably unload this targeting beacon ASAP. <laughs> and you think that's going to save the world? Baird, we're here with the beacon. Excellent. I'll meet you around back. He's right. Paddock's right. <laughs> Wait. If Baird's going back to New Affair with the beacon, how are we getting back? Well, if there's a raven about, I can fly us home. Oh, no. Didn't you crash a basic training? Oh, I had a slight mishap. Yeah. Otherwise known as a... Set that targeting beacon down. I'll deal with it in a bit. Gladly. <clears throat> uh, hey, Barrett. Can we talk? Yeah, uh, listen, kid. You still got a rocket to launch, and I need to get back to New Afira. Yeah, right. Of course. JD, we're fine. I'm just working through it. We can talk later. I appreciate that. Thanks. Paddock said you were working on something? Yeah, uh, a new and improved shield prototype for Jack. Go ahead, install it. Yes, please. Barrier. Jack creates a temporary one-way energy shield to protect his squad mates. Huh. Got the final final upgrade. What are the upgrades for this? Increased barrier duration by 50%. Bullets reflect off of Jack's barrier. Wow. Explodes outwards when it expires if you get the final thing. Okay. Installed. Tell us about it. It's actually very interesting. First, it creates an ionized vector. Baird, cancel class and get out here. Swarm coming in. Uh, of Short course. version, it stops bullets. Now get out there and use it. Delta, come on. Press Y to have Jack protect his shield in front of you. All right, let's try it. Shield! Ah, success! On the very first test, too! Wait, you never tested it? <laughs> Classic bear. Dead. Lasts for a decent amount of time. Flash. Oh yeah, let's dance. You come into my house uninvited. You pay the price. Got you. Dead. <laughs> I love it when you make them drop the grenades. Get to the tarmac before Baird loses his ride home. They're right on top of us. We're gonna clear this tarmac, or Baird's not going anywhere. Come on, Delta, turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. Ah, 
Oh, there's two of them out. Oh, okay. Shit to do in this bloody desert. All right, Delta. Back on the skiff. All right, let's go. Two moaches on the skiff. There we go. Let's hope they're still there when I come back to play the game next week. I'm on. Oh, yeah. I remember. We just fought off the the bad dudes. I can't remember what it was that we delivered to um, Baird, though. What did we give him? Secure. Didn't I store this weapon last time and I hoped it was still here this time? I've forgotten. Let's uh let's take this marker. Yeah, this will work. Sweet. All right, let's continue. So I know. Oh yeah, we did the cosmonaut training facility. I remember, and we got something from there. Uh, a beacon. Ah, uh, beacon, okay. And then now we've got to go under the train bridge to get to a different location where the rest of, like, the rocket parts might be or something like that. From what I can remember. It's been a week, all right? It's been a week and I'm 30. So, are we back on task Leave me alone. Let's hope so. <laughs> Right, I'm, I'm for a long ride to the train bridge, which I'm guessing because it's an objective, there's going to be something there that's going to stop Children, us from getting underneath it. News, I'm afraid. What is it now? My people transporting the other beacons. I need you to get to them immediately. Their convoy was attacked. Where? Close. Their last message was sent from the old city. All right, we're on it. Man, the nomads cannot catch a break. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, we got one of the beacons, didn't we, to take it back to bed, and he was gonna, Paddock was gonna send his his group to get the other beacons. Obviously, they've been attacked. You predicted this. Did I predict this last time that they weren't gonna make it? <laughs> See that smoke up ahead? Shit. That's yeah, a convoy, all right. 
All right, let's get in there and see what we can do. Okay. Look, they're still fighting. We gotta help them. Oh. <laughs> Wake the tree. Another one of those bloody things. Sticking a grenade to these uh, gotcha. these things is is the best way to go. Yes, Jack. Right, we're clear. Now let's check on the beacons. Ah. Right. I'll take that. Could have used that boom shot, I suppose, but I'll keep it. Uh, yeah, I guess I didn't get to see where these beacons are meant to be. Oh, okay. Are we all good? Did you at least protect the beacons? Oh, they don't look damaged. It's in the dark. The Boropal, Ekindur, Eki. Ekindur, Eki. Paddock, mate. You hearing this? It says the beacons are safe. I'll send someone to pick them up now. And don't worry. God, fuck you, man. Nothing happens. So go. Nice. Deal with your rocket. All right. Delta out. All right. We're done here. Let's get back on the skiff. Success. I swear, if we have to save these nomad skins one more time, hey, give them a break. They've been fighting out here alone for months. Uh, fair enough. Delta, I'm heading out. I'll be in touch. All right, Baird. Safe travels. You too. And good luck. See you later, Baird. So, where to next? The turret table. We gotta verify the rockets even there. Sounds like a plan. All right, let's, uh, can we swap? I can't do anything. Okay. I'll cover driving. So that was a fun little side mission that popped up. I like that. Uh, all right, train bridge. Lumeria with the 872, I always thought it was your advice. Do you or anyone have a link to Sugar Free Noss's stream when he said it? Uh, no, I don't think so. You, obviously, you mean that sound. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Um, no, I don't think so. I, I think it would have gone by now. It was uh, quite a while ago. I don't think he was even streaming at the time, if I'm honest. I can't remember now. It was too long ago. Okay, so this obviously was not the right way to go. Yeah, I don't think Nos was streaming when he raged like that. Okay. 
map knowledge even failing you in this game. No, it wasn't on the podcast. Um, Nos, Nos said that when he was... I think he was trying to show me something. Was it Project Homecoming when he was trying to... There's the bridge. I hope Paddock's nomads can raise it. Trying to introduce me to Project Homecoming, I think, and he just well, couldn't get into the yet. session or something, good, so... Right? That's pretty epic. Get the feeling. I'm gonna have to go back there at and some point. Onto the turn table. I don't know, do I I mean that has to be something. There wouldn't be a flag there and a reason to go in it. Again, I'm probably gonna be doing this out of order, but let's go and explore. Yeah, it was. It was the first Project Homecoming showcase and he couldn't get in to the, the server. And then he got annoyed and raged. Wait, wait, wait. Why are we stopping? Aren't we supposed to go under the bridge? Yeah, in a minute. Just looking around for anything useful. I like that they, are, they have um, expected people to do this. And put in put in some you know words from the characters to it just to sort of explain why the player has chosen to not do what they're meant to do. Hi. It's news. It's news. A poor report, Marteri. It's easy in the dark ready. Well, I'd say we're done here. Come on, Delta. Get back to the skip. Okay. So there actually wasn't anything here. I bet there will be later on. Wonder what they're saying. Wanted to see his face when he said it, too funny. Yeah, good old Nos. And his rages. Alright, let's get to that rocket turntable. I love how far, I love that Faz is annoyed as we are every time you get sidetracked. Listen, I'm exploring the game to its fullest, alright? Let me enjoy myself. You guys seeing this artillery battery? Mobby wants to stop. See, now he wants me to stop. Whoa, oh, Kate. Why am I stopping? Turntable isn't much farther. We'll get to it. Just want to check this out. Heads up, Delta. Juvie pods. Hey, hey. That one's still fresh. And there's someone in there. <sighs> Oi! We got a live one. Saved. It's not. I'm a alien. Hazer Odyssey. The body in Nun. Sir, sir, slow down. What the, what the hell's he saying? The body in Nun. The body in Nun. Oh, so much boom shot. Oh, shit. There must be more pods inside. Oh, I don't think they want him going in there. Spread out. Spread out. Why do you have to go piss them off? He's looking for his friends, man. They're probably on party. Why is that our problem? Oh, come on, Faz. Oh, shit, they're coming from the left! Jesus! I think I just learned my first Muscari word! Oh, my God. Right side! Right side! Flash 
Captain. I love the freeze flash. Oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna die! That grenade actually killed it as well, but it killed me at the same time. That's the second time I've done that. Never get downed. Just as you... Heads up, Delta. Um, Juvie pods. Hey, hey, that one's still fresh. Just as you grenade tag someone in. close by. <laughs> oh, hey, we got a live one. It's not, it's not. I'm a alien. Just I'm think about how every juvie is a human that didn't make it. Yeah, that's sir, true. Sir, it's, uh, it's pretty rough. The body in the the body in the oh, shit, there must be more pots Actually, inside. Actually, that retro lancer might be significantly better. Spread out, spread out! And the marks dealing with these. Why do you have to go and piss them off? He's looking for his friends, man. They're probably all party. Why is that our problem? <laughs> I think I just got my first one. Yes. Out of the flash. Fetch. All right, we're clear. And man, that was one angry Lucifer. And Parm Bui Tepanian Odysseus, it's the near. Guys, let's move. He's clearly desperate. I love Jack's freeze. More pods. Start popping them. Yeah, in hurry. Pesna, Cole. The man is in Fansda. Machian. Sure, yeah. You're welcome. Now, go, go see your friends. Before we head out, let's give this area one last sweep. Shh, shh, shh. Keep your eyes open. This old artillery battery may have radio circuits. Del, got another LC circuit here. Nice. Well, that's it. Nothing else here for us. Then let's head out. Well, that's um two out of three of these scavenger missions. One more, and that'll be another ultimate upgrade for Jack, I think. All right, let's make Fars happy. Let's finally go to where we planning Medic, to go. We're leaving the artillery battery. We found another one of your scavenger crews. They're safe. Good to hear that. But one more is still missing. Then we'll keep looking. Delta out. <sighs> All right, what's around here then? I saw this in the distance, I'm curious what it is. Guys, shipwreck! Why not? Let's check it all out. Hey, hey, Kate, is stopping right now a good idea? Maybe not, but this wreck might have supplies. It does, Phil. I think we're about to get into a fight. Come on, down here. Okay! Okay! Block the pussy! Oh shit. We gotta block! 
All right, let's bring it down. Oh, great. This should be the uh, final thing that we need for the ultimate upgrade on another one of Jack's abilities. Though. Flash does nothing. I think we scared it off. Yeah, not likely. Search the area before it comes back. Oh shit! We got rejects in the sand! Just put him down! I love upgraded Jack. One so less. powerful with his zapper and the flash and everything. I'm staying by this talk ball because I want to pick it up as soon as the boom. A silverback! The URM must have stolen this thing! Now let's make it a fair fight! Now we're talking. That was sneaky. Hiding in there. That's up, fuck back. Spread out. Yes. Here, you can have a silver back. your scavenger cruise at the shipwreck. It's down to its last man. Unfortunate, but at least he's safe. I'll get him reinforced. Know that your efforts are appreciated. That goes both ways, Paddock. Delta out. All right, let's search this heap before we go. Good idea. An old cargo ship like this could have some radio tech. Go on, buddy. You can have a silver back. That'll protect you. Totally didn't know that that silverback was there, and then I just turned around. And it was like, ah! Oh. <laughs> right there we go. Detonator implant. Hijacked enemy explodes on death. It's been automatically equipped. I haven't used hijack that much, but that is a nice upgrade. Hijacked enemy explodes on death. All right. I could probably give Jack another upgrade at some point. So I've got the ultimate upgrade on everything except barrier. Cool. Del, this is the last LC circuit. Cool. Now we can give Hijack a much needed boost. We're done here. We should get back on track. Yeah. Delta, back to the skiff. Can I come back in here? A bit eerie. Big cargo ship stranded out in the middle of the bloody desert. Siri, all right. And yet somehow, it's not even the weirdest thing I've seen today. Well, when you deploy with us, it's, uh, it's definitely a thing. I want, um, I want that talk ball. I'm hoping I can get the boom shot off here to replenish the shots in this boom shot. There we go. Now put the boom shot on there. Scared. And then go back in and get the talk ball. It'll be fully loaded up. Is 
This looks like a great game. Gonna have to binge it from the beginning. It is... Gears 5 has been the best. Like, if you do binge it from the beginning, from Gears 1 onwards, there is a playlist on my second channel that has me playing through all of the Gears games. The stories are fun. I, I like them. They're great. But not all of the games are going to be quite as interesting and entertaining as this one, I think. Just, if you know that going into it, because the game, the original game is like 12 years old or something. Or 14 years old now. Then it's, you know, you, you won't be too disappointed by it, I guess. But, yeah, I recommend watching the playthrough of all the, all the Gears games. They're all on a playlist ready to go. This will also be in that playlist. Uh oh! Oh God! Oh my days! Not really a bright side, though. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, so there was a, some element of skill to getting past this. We'll check the old ones out too. First time watching your live stream. Well, welcome. Um, yeah, profi.com forward slash let's plays. Oh, it hasn't. I'm going to do this again. If you go to profi.com slash let's plays, you later. you'll get the uh, all of the let's plays that I've done, all the playlists and gears will be one of the top options there. You just click the link, it takes you to the playlist. And it's all there. And you were worried about lifting the bridge. <laughs> I know. God damn it. Okay, so there was some element of like, I couldn't just go through that and hope for the best. I need to actually think about getting through that. Good to know. Okay. I mean, the skiff isn't the, you know, the most easy to handle thing in the world, to be fair. Ah, shit, a wind flare now? Seriously? On the bright side, we get to see how those sand formations are made. Not really a bright side, though. Oh, my days. Okay, so I need to avoid the big tornadoes of fire. Good to know. Oh my butt. Guys, we're getting close. Those are launch towers. Hey, check it out. There's the rocket. Is that... Is that mounted on some kind of train? Then that's how we'll get it back to the hangar. Let's check the map. Yep, yeah, okay. Let's do this. I'm guessing this is the final bit of this oh. area. I've done oh, pretty much everything else. In the wrong direction, which is why it's called a turntable. Grab the other side and let's get in there. When traveling, I try to avoid fire tornadoes too. <laughs> okay, now how do we turn this thing? We started by finding a control. Room. Hey, it's warm. Perfect. Ready when you are.
Uh... <laughs> I'm so glad that he's not seeing me. I feel like I'd better wait until the invisibility re recharges. I'll go invisible, kill those two, and then I can kill the Scion. the scion. Drop shot, dudes. He just went past me. I got you. Frag out. Nicely done. Don't do that again. What? Hey, check your range. Check fire. Fire in the hole. talking Oh shit, warden coming in. Oh really? Oh no, a warden with a No. Okay, this is this is a bit of a problem. his helmet off. It's alright, he loses so much health when you're accurate on it on his head, of course. <laughs> you brought an axe to a gunfight, mate! Whew. Alright! Turntable's clear. Come on, let's get that train turned around. Did it! Oh, I, I, do you know what? I keep forgetting about the hijack ability. Uh, which is... That's barrier. Is that a hijack? Oh, those are the support ones. That's pulse. But I feel like... I ne I'm never using hijack because flash is so good. Maybe I should. Let's equip... I never use pulse. So let's do cloak. 
Steam and barrier. Hmm. All right. Need another pair of hands here. Looks like a control room to me. Now to access the controls. Reunite with this. Do this first. More components. Jack, get that train pointed toward the hangar. What's left now is to get it back to the hangar. Oh, reckon that train's a step ahead of us. Oh, shit. Come on, we can catch up to it in the skiff. Yeah, it's never simple, is it? It's not here anymore. Wait, what? It won't make it. The bridge has to be lowered first. Can't your people do it? They are not there anymore. Why did you send the train back without lowering the bridge? Oh no. <laughs> because we, we didn't. Oh, forget it. We'll lower it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Now I know why the uh, the train control tower was open. Ah, shit. I told you we'd have to go back there at some point. What do you think I'm doing? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Crash. It's alright, we're still alive. I'm going as fast as I can, alright? God, it's right there. <laughs> Hurry, God damn it, skip order. I just went straight into the bloody fire tornado. We're gonna lose the rocket if we don't get to the bridge controls. I know. I don't like this section. I don't like trying to get through this. It seems so random where these big fire tornadoes are going to be. Train's getting away. Come on, onto the skiff. Um. All right, everyone, hold on. Yeah, I think it, it's, it's it's showing me that Why does everything yeah, this is the second thing that I should have been doing when, you see, when she says Paddock Bird. The They're expecting Wait, the player to still the have Bird around. First. Alright, let's actually try and get through this, shall we? Ah, shit! Hey, we gotta get back to the bridge controls! Hurry! What do you think I'm doing? Hurry, goddammit! Skip order! I mean, it's a Gears game. Usually these things are pretty scripted. It's not as if I have to really rush back to beat it. Normally, anyway.
Bridge. Go, 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 go. We're almost there. Kate, keep going. No, I think I'm just going to stop here right now, Dell. We're almost there, so I think I'm going to stop. There's a bridge control house. Bring us in close. <laughs> Get off, then. Thankfully, I've been here before. Run, 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 Bring it down Having the old-fashioned way. Grab that salvo. Okay, what the hell am I shooting at? That big clamp. That'll bring it down. Great coming. Got it. It's coming down. Holy shit. That's uh. No. Oh. I cut it a little close. Oh, yeah, it did. Come on. Let's just get back to the skiff. Okay, so I see how they... It was, you know, classic scripted gears. I didn't need to rush. No rest for the wicked people. Swarm! Come on, Delta. Put him down. I needed to kill the scion with the salvo and then use the salvo to drop the bridge. We got a pouncer! Right, now I'm gonna use the salvo to kill this. I love this one. I'll take that! Taking this salvo back. Jack's got my back. Throw coming in. Dead. Claw is pretty good when you get it down. Perfect. I feel like I stalled so much on that skiff and never used it. That seems to be what I'm doing. <laughs> I always forget about it. Last one's down. We're good here. Good news, children. I don't know how you did it, but my scouts have just informed me that Some assembly required. safely entered the hangar. Glad to hear it, Paddock. Which means everything is ready for assembly. Get back to the hangar and launch your rocket. Gladly, Paddock. And thanks. Delta out. I can safely say I've seen enough of this shithole. <laughs> Same here. Let's get this done and head home. There we go. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Let's launch some rockets. Oh, Anyone else rocket. surprised by the size of that rocket? It's massive! Uh, rockets are big. You know the ballistic coefficient you need to accommodate atmospheric drag? Uh, no, I don't. Well, it's high. That's the size. So, what's it like to know so much about stuff no one else cares about? Go ahead and abide in your ignorance, man. Not my problem. Glad we agree. Cheers!
Oui. You know, I may have complained a bit. Or a lot. Or a lot, thank you, Del. But this has actually been a pretty ripping time, all in all. To sum it up, 8 out of 10. Would do it again. And it's been surprisingly not terrible having you alone. Yeah, I'll take that, yeah. And yeah, this is where I needed to be, right? I come out a different way. I guess I'm retracing my steps. I'm not used to retracing my steps in a Gears game. I like it. I, I hope there's enemies. Because I've brought this motor along with me. For no no reason. You're about to leave the desert and will not be able to return. Alright. This is it. Get the other side. Let's finish this. Oh, I got to keep the mocha. <laughs> I think it would have made me drop it if I hadn't have done that. Paddock, we're back at the hangar. Everything should be ready. Good. Baird left instructions he asked me to read you. And I quote, Get inside. Initiate the rocket assembly procedure. Launch aforementioned rocket and hope these satellites talk to ours. <laughs> End quote. Wait. Hope the satellites talk to ours? What do you want from me? I can barely turn on a computer. Go press the button and see what happens. <laughs> oh boy. You can understand why he never lost his rocket. <laughs> Let's go press the big red button. Since when are you so attached to your gear? Since I made the effort to actually remember it and bring it. Everyone's favorite rocket. Cool. Let's get down to the platform and throw a switch. Yeah. Still Let's impressive. See what happens. They could have hidden half a city in here. Massive. Don't envy whoever had to build it. There's a lot of stuff around here, and there's a boom shot there. Something's gonna kick off. Better work. Paddock, rockets assembling. Look out! There's a bloody snatcher in here! Oh, great. Son of a bitch! You know, I, I think it did that on purpose. Who gives a shit? We need to get that nose cone back into place. Stupid snatcher. Oh shit! Snatcher's back! Oh, there's two of them. Oh man, insta downed. On my way. Where's my mocha gone? Ah, shit, I'm hurt. Oh, I don't say I've lost my. I brought that mocha all this way. Oh shit! 
They're all down. The Snatchers are more interested in my team than I and me. It kind of suits me. Oh, of course we do. Yeah, I couldn't hijack those Snatchers. But... I should be able to... <laughs> yes! <laughs> Getting him from behind! Beautiful! Oh, hijack is a good ability in those situations. You're dead! Get another mocha. Okay, the one that I dropped. I get one back. Can't believe it made me lose that immediately. <laughs> Carried it all that way. Full ammo and everything. This one's 179 out of 250. Well, it's possible, so at least it's something. Jack, get this thing aligned. All right, we're back in business. Then climb aboard the rocket. You can ride it straight to the launch pad. This has been a cool section of the game. With these environments. <laughs> Yeah, don't think about the ridiculous damage we might be doing to a rocket that's about to be launched. Cut. All right, they're down. That was a good boom shot. Alright, we're good. Finally, I can see Mocha in action, finally. I know, I carried it long no. enough. By our standards? That kind of went over the Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh, what a scumbag! Faz? Uh oh! Oh no! Nice! Good Holy kick! Faz! Man! Thank you! I'm moved by your gratitude, really, I am! But I'd remind you, I'm hanging from the back of a fucking train. Oh, oh, right, right. Ha! <laughs> oh, just got a bit more likeable there. He may be a bit dumb and a bit of a ignoramus, but he's a bit of a machine too. Just shoulder barging a snatcher. Fizzy Green with the 18 months resubscription hype, now you'll probably die. <laughs> what was that? Alright, rocket delivered. What now? Now we raise it into position. Manually, from the looks of it. Which Come means on. we need to find the control room. Yeah, initiate launch. And then head back to base. Ugh, bloody hell. No one told me hanging with you lot would be so much work.
feel like we're coming to the end of an act. Normally there's something big going okay, on at well, the end of an act. Okay, well, the UIR definitely didn't design this with a jack in her face in mind. All right, Jack, go ahead. Don't be shy. This is what's supposed to happen, right? Doesn't make it any less weird. Thank you. <laughs> and there you go. One rocket successfully raised. Some spot translation. Wait a minute. You initiated launch? <laughs> oh. Uh, maybe. Then get the hell out of there now. Uh oh. Go, go, go. Guys, down here. Go, go. Jack is so cute. Okay, we got this. We're good. Oh no. Oh, what the hell is that? Look out! Oh god. Ugh. Anyone got any bright ideas? Shit! It's gonna crush the platform! We're trapped! We gotta make it let go! Why? Shoot the miracles! What the fuck is a spherical? The, the open bit! Shoot the open bit! Right, the open bits have leeches in them! I'm struggling for ammo. That's the only problem. Another one's open! Watch the leeches! Oh. Let it go! Oh. 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 oh, shit! I can't remember the name of what this is called or what the, the thing was called in Gears 2. It's coming around again! Where the, the, camp, Get them the, the camp was in. Uh, in, in Act 2. Swarm version of that, but there's only one. More oh, only one left. It's gonna crush us. Uh -oh. It's full of the little buggers. There, we did it. So, how do we get down? Going all right. Shit! It's not done with us yet. I don't think it wants us. It wants the rocket. Hatch, that's our way down. <sighs> Wrapped up the rocket. It's trying to stop the launch. Then hit it where it counts. Load your time. Oh, this is bullshit! Fuck, fuck. Oh my God! You kidding me? Damn tower. Come on! Onto that lift! 
Objective is specifically piss it off. Come on, team, help me out. Really, they couldn't shoot it enough to get me out. It's launching on top of it, of course. What 
a safe distance. Keep running. Maybe we'll find out. We're not gonna make it. <laughs> All right, children. Onto the bus. Ha, it's panic. Let's go already. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. Shit. Oh, come on, come on. Time to save you again. Wait, are you keeping score? We're clear. There goes the rocket. Saved our ass is it goes the hammer of dawn satellites. Who is that?